What's up, everyone? It's Marin here <laughs> with Hunter. I can't. I can never have my own YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post new videos whenever I feel like it. If you're not gonna stay here for me, at least stay for the hot babes. All right, so this week we're gonna go over what we spend in a week as an engaged couple living together in the Midwest. So we're gonna go over the finances for the week. We also have a smoothie challenge where we're each going to do a smoothie and we also have a little bonus challenge coming up for you as well. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I think like 80% of you aren't subscribed. So even if you're old, subscribe, like the video, it helps out a lot. Like age old or like old to watch the video? <laughs> if you've been here before and you haven't subscribed, do it. All right. So. To get into our week of spending, we did this a couple weeks ago, like it started on Valentine's Day, so it's been a little bit, but we've had very opposite work schedules and it's been hard to find a time where both of us can sit down and do this video. And I know how much you guys prefer having Marin on the channel, so we just had to do it this way. So on Valentine's Day, we're gonna break down what I spent versus what she spent. I'll maybe do some editing here to, uh, show the totals and then we'll kind of have a grand total at the end. So on Sunday, Valentine's Day, I went up to West End for some brunch and that costed me $7. And then I went to hy V to buy dinner supplies for our steak dinner for Valentine's Day. That cost me $66.92. And then I went to Bed Bath & Beyond for some more dinner supplies. I needed a couple different cooking utensils. That was $38.48 for a total of $112.40 for Valentine's Day. What did you spend on Valentine's Day? I bought a Red Bull from Walmart for $2.51. <laughs> Big spender over here. So then on Monday, I had to get the dog's nails trimmed. So I took them both in. It was $34.16. What did you spend on Monday? Not a thing. Oh, she just didn't spend any money. Um, one of our next videos, we would really like to do a Q&A for us, kind of let everyone who's new to us get to know us a little better. So drop down in the comments below and comment any questions you have. Anything's fair game. We like to be as transparent as possible. So in the next video, we'll answer your questions from the comments below as well as we will both be posting a Q&A story on our Instagrams, which will be the second links in the description. So you can be, ask questions there as well and they'll get answered in the video too. So moving on, Tuesday, I bought some dogs toys, toys for the dogs. These are like indestructible toys, like this one here. So it's from this company called Go Nuts just bought them on Amazon. And if the dogs chew through them to the point where the red center shows, they'll send us a new one for free. So I spent $70 and 70 cents on two of these, but they, it isn't a typical cost that we would spend every week. I'm leaving it here anyway, because like we have dog food expenses and stuff like that, but spent $70 on the dogs. It's going to last a lifetime. What did you spend on Tuesday? Nothing. So I'm, I'm sensing a trend here where I'm the big spender. Wednesday, I bought a new computer speaker. I was tired of editing all of these videos with headphones, so I bought a new computer speaker. It was $28.47. I went to hy I got chips and salsa, ice cream, and sprinkles for the bar. It was $21.42. All right, so now we're gonna take a break and do our smoothie challenges. Okay, we had two smoothie submissions on the last video. This one is from Kyle. Recipe is on the screen here, but we've got whey protein, barbecue sauce, tequila, an onion, and he said to do grape soda. I don't drink soda. I'm from Minnesota, we call it pop. I don't drink pop. 
So I went with the uh, Mountain Dew Grape Kickstart because I did not want to buy a case of pop that I was never going to drink. And this was 40 cents cheaper than the single glass bottle of grape soda. So these are the ingredients to my smoothie. I'm going to blend it up and then we'll show you Marin's smoothie. Two shots of tequila. All right, the second recipe which Marin will be attempting is peanut butter, a banana, some lemon juice, vegan protein, and some spinach. So here we'll make that one up. We're gonna have to add some water to hers to blend. All right, this is what we've got for smoothies. I kind of regret giving her the tiny one because this is a lot of liquid. This is get, starting to cost us a lot of money. I had to go buy an entire bottle of tequila for this challenge. So we will be accepting donations. My Venmo is on the screen right now. How does yours smell? You never smell it first. I do. Ooh, mine smells like barbecue sauce. <laughs> smell like peanut butter. All right. Full disclaimer, this is the same smoothie that she has daily, except with lemon juice and spinach added. So I don't expect her to hate it. I'm not expecting great things from this one. Whoa. That is not good. Um, I was fully expecting you to say it's not that bad. I don't know what, I, it's the onion is really coming through. And I don't like onions, so that's pretty gross. Uh, and this is a lot to just chug, so. No. I, I wish that I could have fit more grape soda in here because that probably would have made it taste better. Add it as you drink it. Yeah, that taste is strong. Thanks, Kyle. Got it in the flavor saver. Mm -hmm. Now, come say hi to the peoples. Hi, peoples. Really? Mav, come here. Mav's a fan. <laughs> Coming back for more. Ew. Hello to the peoples. Mm -hmm. She just wants to be outside. Okay, so Kyle said that because you failed last time that you have to take a sip of this one. No. No. You're, nope. you're really gonna upset the people. Kyle is the people. <laughs> I tried. Just a sip and then you can wash it down with yours. I need a straw. Is that what you get is like the onion really comes through? Ugh. It's like there's grape like a, soda. There's like a hint of everything, onion, but really that's strong. That's a grape soda. Onion. Ends with onion. Ew. Ugh. That was the first meal of the day. It's like too much water. Says who? Me. 
That just makes more volume. But we're gonna be here all day if we wait for her to finish that. So back to the regular programming. All right, now we're back. Thursday, I went to Hy-Vee to buy dinner and some miscellaneous things. It's been a couple weeks, so I don't even remember what I bought, but it cost me 30 bucks. I got Chipotle, that was $11. And then I got scooters, which I can't believe Thursday is the first time I had scooters that week. Um, a small black coffee for my mom, a large hot chocolate for myself, and a bacon ciabatta because they were out of everything bagel sandwiches. It was $13.24 for a total of $24.24. So she's creeping up, getting closer to spending the same as me. So on Friday, I didn't spend anything. Nice. <laughs> Every Friday I open the bar, so I go to Scooters because it's right across the street and I get a large hot chocolate and an everything bagel sandwich and it was $9.43. So that's two days of Scooters in a row. <laughs> Saturday, I spent a zero. Saturday, I went to Scooters again and I got another large hot chocolate and he got a mango smoothie, and I also got an everything bagel sandwich, and it was around $15. So I guess I kind of spent money on a mango smoothie, but we only went to Scooters because she wanted it, so that goes on her side. So that brings our total for the week of spending for the two of us to $347.70. But this doesn't really take into account all of our expenses on a weekly basis because as a couple, we have expenses like rent for our apartment. The dogs pay rent, but they don't have jobs, so we have to pay their rent. So we have another set of expenses here that I've broken down. All of our weekly expenses, which are paid on a monthly basis, so I divided them all by four, and that's what they are. But first, we're gonna include the bonus clip of the day, or bonus challenge, so go check that out. Okay, so the bonus challenge now is going to be a polar plunge. My uncle Robbie challenged me to this because he is a detective with the West Chicago Police Department. And every year they do a polar plunge to raise awareness and funds for the Special Olympics. And this year, with everything going on, it's been difficult. They haven't been able to do their typical in-person event. So they've been challenging their friends and relatives to do it across the country. So this lake, although it is not covered in ice anymore, was just two days ago. And I'm gonna take the lunch. So the first link in the bio is going to be the link to go donate. And I'm gonna show a screenshot here where I donated $100 to my Uncle Robbie. So here we go. with the, student, the, uh, the budget for the month. So I am currently paying off a asinine student loan with 9.99% interest. So I'm making a $350 payment on that every month, which comes out to $87.50 per week for rent. This number includes the apartment, the garage that we're renting, our pets, and then our apartment has some miscellaneous fees that are built in like trash and a community ground maintenance fee, things like that. That comes out to $324.58 per week. We pay about $13.33 for our electric bill every week and $10 for our internet on a weekly basis. You want to cover some of these? I'm looking at the one at the very bottom because that is not accurate. Oh, a week. Yes. That's accurate. Okay. So, yep. Start. Yep. So we go to a gym right up the street and that's $20 a week. You, oh yeah, do your power lifting. So he has a coach that's $25 a week. Our car insurance is $44 a week. Don't tell our insurance agent that we're not married yet because he thinks we are and that's why we have such a good rate on car insurance. Um, my car loan is $126.75 a week. And we can justify that because my truck is paid off. So we're paying $126.75 for the total of both of our cars every week. And then I have OnStar on, she has like a free My Connector Uconnect with her Jeep to do like remote start and that sort of thing. And in Nebraska, it's kind of important to have that um, with the snow and whatnot. So I pay for OnStar to have the same functionality and that's $3 a week for me. And then she has a Sirius XM subscription that is free for like six to 12 months with the purchase of her car. And I keep haggling Sirius. So I'm basically not paying for it, but I still have it. 
This is like a pro tip. If your SiriusXM subscription is about to renew, call them up and tell them you want to cancel, and they'll offer you like five different deals before letting you cancel. And then right when you go through with the cancellation process, they'll say, we'll give you three more months for like a dollar. And then for some reason, you'll get a discount and it'll cost you like two pennies to extend it by three months. So I've done that like three times now and have had Sirius for a year and a half. So just trust me on that one. <laughs> someone goes to do it and actually gives us their experience. I mean, it's not that big of a deal either. What else are we paying for? Gas. 62 50 a week would have been more had we still lived yes. down farther. We've hit a lot of gas for moving. Uh, my phone bill is 56 88 a week. My parents still pay for my phone. Thanks, Mom and Dad. That's nice. My mom hates me. Uh, Spotify is three seventy five a week. And we're on a family plan, yep. so that's for both of us. Amazon Prime, three twenty five a week. She's on my family. Hulu Live is seventeen fifty a week. Which we don't take advantage of enough. I kind of want to cancel it, but there's like some sports that we want to watch, and Hulu has live sports. But we just watch at the bar or not yeah. at all. Yeah. Am I still going? Yeah, you might as well finish it. All right. Um, dog food, like fifteen dollars a week. Tanning. I need to cancel my membership. Um, it's like fourteen forty three a week. I know that it's bad for me. Don't have to tell me. I know. But she can't talk to salespeople because they talk her into buying more. So she can't go into cancel because she'll end up with a more premium membership. I can't get a more premium membership. I have the most premium membership. Whatever. Um, rain four seventy four a week. That is all of you. I'm glad you didn't include Red Bull in this. So that's that's rain total body fuel. I have one before every shift at the hospital, which is three times a week. It comes out to about four seventy four based on buying it in bulk at Menards. And ice cream, big expense. Spend fifteen dollars a week on Haagen Dazs chocolate ice cream. We just reloaded today, actually. It's so good. I don't even feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. Hagen Dazs. Three times a week. Sponsor me. All right, so that brings our grand total for one week of spending to one thousand one hundred ninety-four dollars and ninety cents. What do you think about that? That's in a week. Yeah. Oh. Okay. See, I thought you thought that I was going to be surprised by the other total, and I was like, no, that's good. That's a lot of money. Yep. So we spend twelve hundred dollars a week, just doing everything that we do, and that's a lot. Oh my god. So I think that that kind of shows that we can address some things like tanning, maybe Hulu Live. Ice cream is non-negotiable, don't even, don't. <laughs> and a few other things to bring these costs down. We're living just fine. We're also saving some money that I didn't include in here. So it's not like we're struggling to meet these expenses, but I would like to see that number under a thousand a week at least. So. You just can't have rain anymore. <laughs> Maybe at some point we'll do a video on like what we make our our income is very variable if that's something that you guys would like to see let us know i'm pretty open about sharing my income the irs isn't going to come after us we paid our taxes so if it's something that you guys would like to know and if this channel ever gets monetized i'd love to be transparent about how much money we're making through the channel so that's something to look forward to in the future. But you guys got to subscribe if that's ever going to happen. So go subscribe, like, comment your questions for next week. Be sure to comment your smoothie recipes. If you want us to keep doing smoothies, no more than five ingredients, Brilla. Uh, but yeah. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, I was Siri, I was not say, talking to you. Basically. You got anything else? No. All right. Well, that's a week of spending with a 25-year-old engaged couple in the Midwest. Subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.